In today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to revisit Jasper AI and do an updated review. If you're unfamiliar with what Jasper AI is, it used to be one of the best AI copywriters. It was growing at a tremendous speed and it was one of the first companies to really utilize GPT-3 to be able to generate text. This was before ChatGPT. So when ChatGPT launched, Jasper AI lost a lot of users because it just made sense people went over to a free product rather than paying for Jasper AI, which was kind of expensive at that time. But recently, Jasper has rolled out a lot of new features and really pivoted their tool to be more attractive for users. So in today's video, I'll be doing an updated review of Jasper AI, I'll be comparing it to ChatGPT to see if Jasper AI is a good alternative to ChatGPT or if you're better off just sticking with ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look at the updated pricing of Jasper AI. Right now, the prices are a lot less compared to what the prices used to be for Jasper. If you've used Jasper before, you know how expensive it used to be. So they've reduced the pricing and the lowest plan is the creator plan, which is $49 per month. $50 per month. This is billed monthly. And then you have one seat, one brand voice. You have the SEO mode and you have the, um, the, the Chrome extension, which allows you to use Jasper anywhere on the web. There's also a Teams plan, which gives you a couple more seats and a couple more brand voices. But I think the creator plan would be more suited for everyday user. So that's $50 per month that you'd have to pay for Jasper compared to ChatGPT's $20 per month. So while Jasper has reduced its pricing, it's still more expensive than ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at the features that you get included for these plans. So I've went ahead and created an account for Jasper AI. And as you can see, it looks a lot different from the old Jasper. I think they've moved away from their template based um, content making to being more of a co-pilot to help you create any sort of content. To get started, click create content and you can create content from a couple of different ways. You can create a blank document, which allows you to start from scratch. You can create from a template. You can use their blog post template, which allows you to um, produce engaging blog post copy in one click. And you can also create art using Jasper. So if we take a look at the templates, this looks a little bit familiar because these are the templates that Jasper launched with. These are templates that are specific for a lot of short form copy. So if you wanted to create Amazon product features, if you wanted to create blog post ideas, if you wanted to create business names, content rewriter, feature to benefit FAQ generator, Facebook ad copy, and so on, you're able to create that short form copy using these templates. Now, of course, you can use ChatGPT to do so, but it is nice that you have these pre-made templates that are probably already pre-prompted that you can use in Jasper AI. So as you can see, there's a variety of different types of templates. You have the ad templates, you have the blog templates, business, e-commerce, email, Google, new, SEO, social media, video, and website. So a lot of different short form templates in which you can choose from. But again, if we head over back to create content, we can also create content using your blog post generator. Now this allows you to generate a full blog post with an intro, body, and a conclusion in one shot. So this is going to be the feature that most of us um, is going to be interested in, myself included, because I would like the ability to create long form articles much quicker compared to having to like manually write each section or manually generate each section. So let's go ahead and give it a blog post topic. The topic that we'll be writing about is how to make money online as an SEO specialist. And then we're going to change the tone of voice to engaging. We're going to change the intended audience to entrepreneurs and we're going to leave the language as is and we're going to click create content. Do note, you can also increase the amount of outputs in which you would like. So if you want to get two or three outputs, we can increase this number. So here's the output in which we get back. We get blog post title, a comprehensive guide on how to make money online as an SEO specialist. We get a blog intro, body, and a conclusion. So right off the bat, this seems a little bit short for my likings. Um, let's click on this. Okay, so we can see the full view of it. In terms of word count, this is less than 500 words, so very, very short. But what we can do is if you wanted to actually edit and expand this article, we can open it in docs. So now what we can do is we have Jasper AI features, which allow us to continue writing and expanding this article. So let's say, for example, I wanted to continue writing this intro. I can simply just hit continue writing with Jasper and Jasper will either continue writing from that specific paragraph or as you can see here, 
it started writing a full new paragraph. If Jasper kind of finishes writing mid-sentence, again, you can click generate content or continue writing. And as you can see, it does continue writing. So, so I definitely don't think that their one shot blog post generator is good by any means. As you saw, we only got about 500 words, but when you combine that with their um, long form templates, which allows you to continue writing, then you, you are able to get some pretty decent content. But again, I prefer to just be able to put an input and have a 1000 or 1500 word article just come out because when you're expanding different sections, you kind of lose the overhaul cohesiveness of that uh, blog post because maybe you're going to start talking about a new specific type of service that's not um, necessarily related to the overall topic of that article it would make it more difficult for you to have a consistent tone and a consistent flow for your blog post. Another feature that's included in the long form SEO template is the ability to use it in combination with the chat. So for example, let's say I wanted to get more information about my blog post. What I can do is I can copy over any question that I have. I'm just gonna copy over the title and I can paste this into um, the chat mode and the chat mode will give me more content ideas that I can then combine within my blog post. So this is kind of cool. You kind of have like your own assistant that you can use alongside while you're creating your article. So once that's finished, I can copy over this message, then I can paste it into Jasper. You could then also expand on any of this content that you paste it into the document. You can also tell Jasper to write a custom command. So you can ask it to write about anything if you wanna add a new paragraph. And there's also suggestions here, so about that specific topic. So we can ask it to write about discussing the potential challenges of, of making money as an SEO specialist. And we can run that and Jasper will start writing on that topic. So I do think that this is a different way of writing long form articles, but I don't think it's necessarily bad. I just think it's different. Um, I do like that you have a variety of different ways to be able to research and write content into your blog post. But the only thing that I'm worried about is having that flow and having a specific tone and a specific voice when you're writing that article, because if you're continually um, getting information from different places, then again, it kind of breaks up that article and maybe doesn't write in a specific um, tone. But it is nice that you have a variety of different ways in which you can research, get information and compile your blog post. Some other features included in Jasper AI is the brand voice. The brand voice allows you to be able to add facts about your brand and they can use those facts within your content information. So I can include my product information. I can include, include my company information. I can include my people and audience and team space. So essentially, I can include any information that is relevant to my business or my company, and then Jasper AI will use that information into my content. So this is pretty cool because you wouldn't have to constantly paste in information about your product or business. Jasper AI will already be trained on that and use it whenever it is relevant. You can also train Jasper AI on your own brand voice. So you can add a tone, we can upload a text or we can scan our site. So this is pretty cool. Let me just go ahead and um, enter my website and let's see how this would work. So essentially it's gonna read my website and it's gonna take the tone um, from that website and that's what it's gonna use moving forward when it's creating my content. So I think that this is a really, really good um, touch that they've added in because this allows you to customize your information and your content for your specific brand and, and business. This is a really good and useful feature that's added in by Jasper AI because people want to not just write generic AI content, they wanna write content that is in alignment with their brand identity. So this allows you to be able to create your own tone and then use that tone within Jasper AI. So once Jasper is able to scan your website, then they'll be able to give you a summary of your tone. And once you have that summary, if you like it, then you can keep it as is and you can create that voice. And that's the voice that Jasper AI will now use when you're creating content. As mentioned earlier, you also have the ability to chat with Jasper. So this is going to be a more conversational AI. If you need to chat, you can always go ahead and do so. Another cool feature included in Jasper is the Jasper Copilot. So this is a copilot that follows you everywhere where you're creating content. All you have to do is write a command and Jasper AI will create that command for you. For example, I can tell it to write an email announcing the launch of my online course. And as you can see, Jasper will start writing that content. So this is cool because you're not limited to just using Jasper AI when you're on the web app. You have the ability to use Jasper AI anywhere on the internet. And as you can see here, it's able to write that content. Then you can copy over that content very easily. 
and paste it into anywhere in which you would like to do so. So this is a nice touch because if you want to create content very quickly and you don't want to go into the web app, you have the ability to do so with the Jasper AI. So that's my updated review of Jasper AI. Let's talk quickly about whether I would recommend Jasper over ChatGPT. For most use cases, I would still recommend ChatGPT. And that's because for most things that you can do in Jasper AI, you could also do that on ChatGPT. Some things that I like from Jasper is the ability to use the Copilot. So that means you can access Jasper AI anywhere on the internet. I like that feature because right now, if you want to use ChatGPT, you have to go into the ChatGPT web app and create content. Now, ChatGPT has a lot of different advantages that I believe Jasper AI does not have. For instance, ChatGPT has plugins, which allows you to create not just only written content, but you can also do a lot more with ChatGPT. ChatGPT also has other features like the ability to upload images, and they also have the newly released Dolly 3. You could also get live and up-to-date information from ChatGPT by using the Browse with Bing feature, while Jasper AI does not have that um, capability, it's trained up to 2021 because it's using GPT-4. So you don't have those features included in Jasper AI like you do have on ChatGPT. So taking that into consideration and also thinking about the price that you pay for Jasper AI compared to ChatGPT, I would still recommend ChatGPT over Jasper AI. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.